It is a cold winter night in New York, but it is summertime inside the Richard Rogers Theater where the classic Gershwin opera Porgy and Bess returns to Broadway. What brings you out to Porgy and Bess tonight? Oh, two of my closest and dearest and most talented friends, Norm Lewis and Arthur McDonald. And I'm really looking forward to seeing D David Allen Greer also. I'm a huge fan of his and the whole cast. I've known it since I was a kid. I've loved the music and we couldn't get possibly better performers. So uh, I am tremendously excited to see these people do it. And this music is very very much in my head and I love it because I grew up on it so it said I've got a sentimental attachment to it tonight. It's a perfect score it, it pushes so many um, stylistic boundaries and blurs the line between popular music and opera in the most thrilling way and this is my first time seeing a production of it. I'm a huge Gershwin fan but I only know a couple of the songs from Porgy and Bess so I'm excited to kind of go in with no expectations and hopefully be blown away. After five years away from Broadway, what is it like to be back? Heavenly, heavenly. You know, it's a role that I've been thinking about for a very, very long time, and it's certainly been in my mind for years and years and years. And I remember being at Juilliard and frustrated and not sure I wanted to do, wanted to sing operatically and listening to Porgy and Bess over and over again and saying, well, if I were to do opera, that would be the one I would do. It's funny because I never thought of myself uh, uh, ever playing this role. But when they decided to bring it back to Broadway and to use uh, a mix of Broadway and opera uh, people, I was uh, very excited about it. How have audiences been reacting to the new Porgy and Bess? It's awesome. I mean, they, they a lot of people who know the story and, and have seen the opera have come up to us and said, I didn't really realize that Porgy was felt this way or best felt that way or you know the community they've never seen such a sense of community it's so alive at every single moment and everyone knows everyone it's like that I think about that Cheers song you want to go where everybody knows your name like that's what it's like living in Catfish Row on stage they're an extraordinary company and they just take this work kind of you know, by its throat and sort of wrestle it to the mat to give it as much life as they can give it. We're honoring Gershwin. We're honoring Gershwin. We're doing in the spirit of Gershwin what he had started to work on with this um, opera anyway. So uh, hopefully they are moved. People come up to me and say, you know, I've, I've, all, I've known the show for a long time, but I've never really been able to embrace it. It's wonderful and fun and thrilling to be in a production where you can feel the buzz, feel the uh, positive buzz, you know, like, oh, oh my God, oh my God, yeah. There's a feeling that you get when you kind of have an audience and we feel like we have them for the entire show. And at the end, with tears and with you know, applause, they give us the love back. Why do you think this score and this show has endured all of these years? Well, I mean, why has why Gershwin endured all these years? Just because he is, I mean, what he was able to marry, you know, the you know, the, the, the Tin Pan Alley, the jazz, and then just his own sort of Jewish roots and, and turn all that into this incredible art form that sort of just touched the pulse of America at that time. Um, it's just, it's a part of our blood now. The music transcends all races, all, all cultures, all, you know, all around the world. And I think people just love hearing this. The emotions and the situations that the characters deal with on this stage, the audience can relate to it immediately. The love story between Porgy and Bess uh, of two seemingly undeserving people um, getting together and, and I think it just says that everyone is worth loving and everyone is deserving of love. I think that theme is the most powerful and that's timeless.